Oh, the growth of the women's game over the last year has been absolutely phenomenal, and I just witnessed that in England. The women's Euros were sold out stadiums everywhere. I think Kiwis and Aussies do get a sense of what's coming, but some of the images that we're seeing and the stories that we've been reading about these sold out stadiums is certainly paving the way for us in the lead up to FIFA Women's World Cup in 2023. People in less than 50 years of Cook landing, 80% of our people and cocks and the flu decimated our people. Children, just over water for cattle. 1950s and 1960s. Late 1960s, finally we're up. For uh, decades on our shores and people in this area. Um, I was co-host and first Southern Hemisphere host of the FIFA Winners. I am delighted to welcome you all here to this very important milestone event to celebrate one year to go, yes, just 365 days until we kick off the FIFA Women's World Cup Australia and New Zealand 2023. And we are on track, I guarantee you, to deliver the biggest and the greatest ever FIFA Women's World Cup. Today really is exciting. It's an exciting moment on the road to 2023. And our vision for the tournament is to unite the world through a unique experience, to showcase the world's best footballers and to take women's football beyond greatness. And I'm sure you will all agree we are well on our way to achieving exactly that. Today, celebrations are taking place right across Australia and New Zealand. Throughout the day, each of our host cities will showcase unity on display for the first ever co-hosted FIFA Women's World Cup. Here at Barangaroo, we celebrate by unveiling this incredible, this beautiful pitch just out there past the marquee. And tonight, we will light up all of our host cities with a unity lights display that captures the spirit of our places, the spirit of our people, and the spirit of our game. We all know football is the great unifier. It is the language we all speak. Well, we all know it is the game that connects us all. The tournament that is going to take place here in one year is a tournament of many firsts. The first one to take place after two and a half years of Pan health pandemic. The first one to take place in the Southern Hemisphere. The first one that will see 32 teams playing at global stage. And the first one where we will be delighted to also experience unique 
agriculture across the two host countries. It's my pleasure to be here in Disney, in Sydney, Gadigal, to help celebrate the one year to go milestone on the road to the one and unique FIFA World Cup Australia and New Zealand 23. The FIFA Women's World Cup brings together so many diverse people and culture. It is a symbol of unity and the progressiveness of the beautiful game representing the culture here and in New Zealand. So to showcase the beautiful game to a new growing audience and shine a spotlight on women football like never before. Teams, fans, visitors and viewers will be treated to the best of what these magnificent countries have to offer. With Australia and New Zealand culture showcased on the biggest global stage. <laughs> I'm glad she's in charge of the kick. Oh, yeah. yes, Flash down a bit. Two. Three. 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 forward. Oh, thank you. That's taking care. And do you mind posing, uh, Madam Secretary? Oh gosh, please don't lag. <laughs> <laughs> I thought the coach should be so upset. <laughs> you know what you're doing. <laughs> yes, that's good. Can we go, just go back a bit so we can get the full length of that? The stack here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right.